Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. Today I am just sitting down to plan out this upcoming week. We are getting ready to head out on a little staycation and yeah, I'm doing this voiceover. It's Thursday, almost noon or so. So we're going to be leaving here in a couple hours and I just... Yeah, when we get back from our little staycation, I just feel like there's just a lot I want to get done and there's routines that I'm working on, just, you know, goals I'm wanting to accomplish, lots of work projects, things like that. So all of those things have just been swimming around in my brain and I always feel so much better when I just do a little brain dump and get out all the plans, all the goals everything just into my planner and it felt amazing I have to say to like sit down and actually plan out a week like this I haven't planned out a week like this in quite some time I've been using my sidekick a lot I haven't really like shared that a ton because I haven't been using stickers as much I've just been writing in our plans writing out a to-do list I've been using my reminders app too for to-do lists and stuff and I really missed planning like this, so it felt really nice to just sit down with like a sticker kit. I'm using the Father's Day sticker kit, of course, because this is the week of Father's Day as well. And um, I really enjoyed putting together this spread, so it just made me realize like I need to do this more often. Um, and yeah, I was excited to try out this weekly layout as well. I thought it would work really well for just what I had wanted to plan out and keep track of. It took me a little bit to figure out where I wanted to put things. Lots of pondering took place behind the scenes. Um, you guys get to see this video sped up and everything because I recorded my screen. I haven't done a voiceover in a while, but the one big benefit of the voiceover and screen recording is that I'm able to just plan more leisurely, you know, like there is some uh, some amount of pressure that I put on myself um, when I'm sitting down to plan and it's in real time. I think there's some benefits to planning in real time because it slows it down. You guys get to kind of see more of the nitty gritty of how a spread comes together, but um, <laughs> they tend to be more like longer videos and stuff. And I know not everyone has time to sit down and watch a super long video like that. And it takes a while, honestly, for me to edit really long videos because I am probably too picky and I edit my videos more than someone else probably would, I would imagine. So um, just, yeah. So anyways, it felt good to kind of go back to this method of planning and recording my screen and being able to just take my time this morning, plan out my week. Um, I'm working on really honing in like I don't know if that's actually the right word um I don't know establishing <laughs> a really solid morning routine it's been a little bit of a frustrating process because I feel like whenever I'm trying to establish these new routines and get them going and stuff you know my life has a lot of moving parts we've got two little kids we have two puppies a home to take care of um, there's a lot of things going on all the time and so I've been trying to get this routine established and going and like I want to go through like a, a good long stretch of sticking to it but because we have all these moving parts and life can be a little unpredictable you know I'll go through for example I went through a couple days of sticking to my routine and then our youngest Julia got a stomach bug and so that threw it off and so I tend to um, get really discouraged when things like that happen um, things like that happen that sounded weird for some reason and then it just like throws me off for a little bit so my hope is that a I can kind of get over that mindset of like I, I should just anticipate that things are not always going to go as planned because this is life, you know? Um, you'll see me here. I'm trying to figure out what I'm putting where and stuff. There's just certain things I want to track. Um, but you'll see I'm going to be putting in like a designated health and fitness page here in just a moment. I love how it turned out. But um, that's just a little tidbit about the planning process. But yeah, so I want to work on that mindset of like, you know, anticipate that 
there's gonna be hiccups along the way, kind of get rid of that like perfectionist mentality and um, give myself grace because I am a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a business owner, and I'm trying to create all these really great new habits that I haven't had in the past and I've got a lot of bad habits that I need to break and it's just gonna take time. It's not something where I'm gonna be able to snap my fingers and have it go perfectly and everything. So, um, so yeah, so my one big thing that I'm working on is the morning routine and I had been getting up at 4.30. I'm wanting to get up a little bit earlier at four in the morning, um, which I know may sound just totally nuts to some people, but I actually really love I love getting up really early in the morning. There's just something so peaceful about being up and watching the sun come up and having the world just be totally quiet and having my house be very quiet. Um, my brain tends to get very tired at night um, pretty early on in the evening. And you guys are going to have to forgive me. I've tried doing this voiceover a couple times. My kids are on another level, let me say. Uh, my daughter's been home from school for a little bit and the two have been just fighting and my youngest is just moody today. So you might hear her in the background a little bit. So I apologize in advance, but I, I gotta get this video done. And um, so you might hear that, but, um, but yeah, there's just something so peaceful about being up and then pouring into yourself, you know, doing some self care. I personally like to spend some time with the Lord. I do Bible study, prayer journal. That's the first thing I want to get done. And so I want to get up a half hour sooner because I want to give myself a little bit more time in the morning. Um, I want to wake up and do my Bible study first thing, um, get that done first thing. Cause it really puts my mind in a really good place. And I feel like that's the first thing that needs to be done is to work on like spiritual work, my faith, like my mindset, all that needs to come first. And then I walk to the gym. Our gym's within walking distance, which is really nice. So walk to the gym, get in a workout. Um, I usually do about 45 minutes of strength training. And I, as you can see, I work out different muscle groups on different days. Walk home from the gym, take a quick shower because... <laughs> I do not like being sweaty. It's the summertime. I tend to get cranky here in Arizona because I, I can't stand. I just feel so gross and sweaty and ugh. So take a shower as soon as I get home, kind of get ready for the day. I've been putting more effort into that too. Even though I work from home, I just find if I like do my hair a little bit, put just a tiny little bit of makeup on. I've never been a huge makeup wearer. So we're talking like just a little bit of mascara, maybe some blush some CC cream, BB cream, whatever. I use the It Cosmetics. I don't remember if it's CC, I think it's CC cream. It has SPF in it and stuff, so it's kind of nice and it's got good coverage. So doing some of that, some blush, some like lip gloss and we're good or chapstick or whatever. And so just very minimal, but it makes me feel so much better. Um, and I find that I'm more productive if I actually put some effort in. So we're talking like getting in and out of the shower, doing all that like within 30 minutes is usually what it takes. It doesn't take very long if I'm not washing my hair. If I'm washing my hair, it's a whole nother story. <laughs> that takes forever. Um, so I just wash my hair twice a week because yeah, I love dry shampoo and washing my hair. I have very thick curly hair and it's a process. So, um, so there's that. And then just making myself some cold brew, sitting down and just reading a book for fun or like planning out my day on in my digital planner, writing out my to do's for the day, whatever it may be, just kind of having that time until the kids wake up. They typically wake up um, around seven, um, sometimes 730, closer to eight even. But um, yeah, I mean, it takes me about 15 minutes to walk to the gym. So just doing the math, adding everything up, like we're talking my morning routine takes two and a half to three hours and but I've done so much in that block of time between Bible study and getting organized for the day getting ready for the day working out all those things and if I can get all that done for myself I am a much better business owner mom wife all that throughout the day I feel like I have better energy throughout the day so it's incredibly important to me when I get home um, from our little staycation that I really give 
this morning routine 110% and hopefully go like like just get it established get it like i want it to be like like clockwork like a well-oiled machine type of deal and i used to have a very early morning routine like this when we lived in our old house um i think it's actually when i was still like a beach body coach so this is way back in the day but i would get up at four in the morning to work out like a beach body workout and i would do bible study and i would journal and all that kind of stuff um, and I would get up at four and um, it's actually pretty easy for me to wake up that early as long as I go to bed on time. That's the key. So um, uh, the kids are coming upstairs, I think. So hopefully I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> this is real life, you guys, real life. Um, it's just, yeah, anyways. So yeah i need to like kind of come up with good days for videos and stuff too i wanted to get this video done because um we're leaving and i want this video to go up on saturday for you guys i also want to film a couple more videos i'm really working hard at getting ahead on um, new releases specifically like getting all the products made getting the walkthrough videos filmed my ultimate goal is to be a month ahead so for example everything that's releasing in july um, for the Wednesday shop drops, I would have all the products created and all of the videos filmed and uploaded and ready to go for the whole month. Um, that's a huge goal of mine that I'm going to be working on this month is just kind of getting to that point. So all of the sticker kits are designed for July, which is exciting. Um, Sharon and Allison are, are working on putting together like cropping and compressing and doing the good notes files and stuff, but I finished designing all those kits yesterday. And then today's just a YouTube day, just trying to get all the videos lined up and stuff, because it'll be really nice. I'm working on some very big work projects when I get back that are a little intimidating <laughs> to me. And so I just wanted to try to get as much off my plate to like clear my time, my head, and be able to focus on those things. So as you can see, I have one page dedicated to just an overview of the week, what my workouts are, what my to-dos are. Um, tracking like habits, self-care type of stuff, uh, tracking the weather, something I like to do, especially now because monsoon season is starting and it gets really, really hot. And so I feel like um, it's just, I, I always have enjoyed tracking the weather. So even if it doesn't change that much here in Arizona, it's typically always sunny, but like I said, it also is monsoon season. So it'll be interesting to keep an eye on if like storms are brewing and stuff. And then I have a whole page dedicated to tracking my Apple Watch rings. I want to close my rings every day and then tracking my meals um, as well. So I just wanted to be, you know, really good about that. I'm trying to stop ordering DoorDash because A, it's super expensive and it's really unhealthy. And then also giving up my soda habit, um, which includes my energy drinks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So anyways, guys, that is it for this digital plan with me. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned for new releases this upcoming Wednesday. I'm very, very excited to share those with you guys. We have some really fun ones coming up this Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. I hope that you all are having an amazing weekend and I will chat with you all later. Bye.